the topic of the video is uh, generalized angular momentum the generalized angular momentum is denoted by j bar and hat and uh, it is actually kind of uh, uh, summation of both uh, the uh, arbitral angular momentum l and uh, the spin angular momentum s in components form j, j can be expressed as uh, jxi plus jyj plus uh, jzk and we take the commutator of uh, jx with jy as ih cut into jz and uh, similar kind of uh, expressions for uh, uh, the other combinations of uh, jy jz jz uh, jx uh, just like the way we had for orbital angular momentum case and also we take the commutator between j square and jz as equals to zero we focus our discussion mainly about uh, finding the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of uh, the uh, operators j square and jz in the rest of the discussion since these operators j, uh, j square and uh, jz they commute they have a common eigenfunction which can be taken as a ket alpha beta such that uh, if you uh, kind of operate uh, j square on alpha beta you will be getting uh, alpha h cut square into the same ket and then if uh, uh, jz operates on the ket uh, alpha beta then it will be giving you beta h cut into the same ket uh, that means we can say that uh, alpha h cut square is the eigenvalue for uh, j square operator and uh, beta h cut is the eigenvalue for uh, jz operator and uh, we can take these eigen uh, kets uh, uh, as uh, normalized that means if you have a uh, uh, bra alpha bar beta bar and then uh, ket uh, alpha beta kind of uh, multiplied that means uh, uh, this uh, inner product will be actually uh, delta alpha alpha prime and delta beta beta prime which says that uh, it will be only equal to one when alpha is equal to alpha prime and uh, when beta is equal to beta prime because uh, these delta functions are defined like this to find out uh, the values of uh, alpha and beta we need to actually define the ladder operators uh, which we define as a j plus is equals to jx plus ijy which we actually call as a raising operator and a j minus is equals to jx minus ijy that we call as uh, the lowering operator and if you add uh, these two operators we actually can get expression for jx as a uh, 1 over 2 into jx plus jy and if you subtract these two we can get expression for jy as a uh, 1 over uh, 2i into jx uh, j plus minus j minus to prove that uh, j plus is a raising operator and j minus is a lowering operator we actually need to compute a few uh, commutator relationships and the first one which we can do is uh, between uh, j plus and j minus so the uh, commutator of j plus and j minus we can write uh, the expressions for both j plus and j minus so in the next step it will become actually the four commutators as shown on the right hand side since the commutator with the uh, jx and jx will be zero or uh, also jy jy will be zero so the first and fourth term will be zeros and uh, the second term will be actually the direct commutator jx with jy is uh, ih cut jz and then the sec uh, third one is actually kind of reverse of uh, x and y so we'll be getting minus ih cut into jz the right hand side will actually sum up to 2h cut into jz so we can write that uh, the commutator of j plus and j minus is uh, 2h cut into jz and if we actually want to compute the commutator of jz with j plus we can actually substitute the value of uh, j plus and then we can write this as a summation of two commutators and then by using uh, the relationships uh, of uh, jz with jx is uh, ih cut into jy and then jz with jy is uh, minus ih cut into jx and if you actually kind of uh, uh, pull out uh, h cut outside we'll see that the right hand side will become j plus operator so we can write uh, j plus uh, i mean uh, jz uh, and uh, j plus commutation or uh, commutator is equals to uh, h cut into j plus operator since the left hand side can be written as uh, jz uh, j plus minus j plus uh, jz uh, we can actually get expression for uh, jz uh, j plus uh, 
is equals to j plus uh, jz plus h cut into j plus so if you pull out uh, uh, j plus to the front uh, we'll get uh, the thing as equation number one and now if you do the same kind of uh, uh, mathematics for uh, commutator of uh, jz with j minus we actually will see that uh, it will uh, give you uh, minus uh, h cut into j minus so if you again write uh, this uh, uh, commutator jz j minus as uh, jz j minus minus uh, j minus jz we can actually try to get expression for uh, jz j minus by sending uh, this thing to the right hand side and then if you pull out j plus to the front we will get uh, jz j minus is equals to j minus into jz minus h cut as equation number two and now uh, we actually try to derive expressions for uh, j plus uh, j minus or uh, j minus uh, j plus for the first case j plus into j minus uh, we can write uh, the expressions for both the operators in square brackets as shown here and in uh, multiplying we should preserve the order in which they are multiplied so we actually get uh, uh, the product as a, a summation of these four terms uh, and then uh, by using the fact that uh, the stuff that we have here is actually kind of a commutator of uh, jx and j minus so we can get uh, uh, our uh, j plus into j minus is equals to jx square plus j y square plus h cut into j z as uh, equation number three and in the similar way we can actually try to compute the product uh, j minus into j plus by writing the expressions for both those operators uh, i mean as, as as the product and then uh, if you actually kind of uh, multiply them in the order uh, in which they are getting uh, multiplied we get these four terms and then uh, by simplifying those uh, last two terms as uh, the commutator of uh, jx and jy and after substitution and after multiplication with uh, i into i we'll get uh, this as uh, jx square plus jy square minus h cut into jz as equation number four then uh, we try to actually uh, prove why we actually call uh, j plus as a uh, uh, raising operator and j minus as a lowering operator or uh, why we call these things as ladder operators we know that uh, jz when operates on alpha beta ket it will give you beta h cut into alpha beta ket and now if you want to see jz when operates on uh, the uh, uh, j plus into alpha beta ket kind of a new uh, wave function then we can write these two operators together as, as a product and then uh, if you use uh, the uh, equation number one which was for jz j plus is equals to j plus uh, into jz plus h cut and uh, if you substitute that on the right hand side and if you actually take the fact that uh, jz when operates on alpha beta will give you beta h cut uh, so you can actually kind of uh, get uh, the fact that uh, the right hand side being equal to beta plus 1 into h cut into j plus alpha beta uh, which says that uh, j plus alpha beta is actually eigen ket of uh, jz uh, operator with eigenvalue beta plus 1 into h cut and uh, this is why uh, your uh, uh, j plus operator is called uh, raising operator because uh, after its operation on the ket the eigenvalue of uh, jz is actually kind of raised by a factor of h cut similarly our uh, j minus into alpha beta will be eigen ket of uh, jz operator but with the uh, eigenvalue of uh, beta minus 1 into h cut and uh, that's the reason why your uh, j minus is called uh, lowering operator so our uh, j plus is raising operator and uh, j minus is lowering operator next we try to actually focus our uh, discussion on evaluating these values of alpha and beta we can write the j square operator as a summation of jx square j y square and jz square and from which we can write uh, j square minus uh, jz square is equals to jx square plus jy square so the uh, measurement of uh, j square minus uh, jz square in a uh, ket alpha beta should give us a positive result because the right hand side is actually summation of uh, two squares 
and uh, the uh, measurement or uh, expectation value can be written uh, as a uh, cat uh, i mean uh, bra alpha beta and then the uh, operator j square minus uh, jz square and alpha beta and uh, as this result should be strictly positive it can be either uh, greater or equal to zero and in the next step we can write uh, the uh, stuff in the square bracket as uh, two terms as a j square uh, uh, i mean uh, the expectation value and then uh, j, j z square expectation value and uh, by using the fact that when j square operates on alpha beta ket it will give you alpha and h cut square we can write this term and uh, when uh, j z operates on alpha beta it will give you beta h cut so when j square actually operates it will give you beta square and h cut square and uh, all these things should be actually greater than or equal to zero so if you actually kind of take uh, these uh, constants which are alpha uh, h cut square and uh, beta square h cut square outside uh, these uh, uh, these uh, inner products we can write the in inner product of alpha beta as a separate term and uh, of course the result should be still greater than or equal to zero so since this alpha beta is actually kind of get normalized uh, we don't expect it to be zero but uh, it should be actually strictly one and uh, so your uh, square bracket uh, stuff should be actually greater than or equal to zero that means uh, h cut square is not actually uh, is, is not equal to zero so you your alpha beta i mean uh, alpha minus uh, beta square should be greater than or equal to zero or alpha should be uh, greater than or equal to beta square as uh, equation number five so it says that the uh, highest value of uh, beta can be just equal to alpha but uh, beta can be having some values which which are always uh, less than your alpha so let us call the uh, highest value of beta as uh, beta max and uh, as it can be equals to alpha we can write beta max is equals to alpha and the uh, highest beta valued uh, ket state uh, can be taken as alpha beta max and then when uh, j plus operator operates on this ket uh, alpha beta max then it should be giving to zero because it cannot raise it anymore multiplying j minus operator on both sides we actually get uh, j minus up j minus j plus uh, and then the ket alpha beta max is equals to zero and uh, from equation number four which we had for uh, j minus j plus product as uh, j x square plus j y square minus uh, h cut into j z we can write uh, we can write this uh, right hand side as j square uh, minus uh, j z square minus uh, h cut into j z because uh, j x square plus j y square can be written as uh, j square minus uh, j z square so our uh, uh, our kind of uh, operation of uh, j minus on j plus i mean uh, j minus j uh, plus operator on alpha beta max ket can be written as uh, this uh, new operator and then the same ket so if you kind of uh, uh, apply this ket on uh, each of these uh, operators three operators uh, for the first one when j square operates on that it will give you alpha into h cut square and when uh, jz operates it will give you beta max square into h cut square and when uh, jz operates it will give you h cut into beta max so by taking the uh, h cut square outside we can write uh, this thing as alpha minus beta max square minus beta max since uh, this uh, j minus uh, j plus uh, operating on alpha beta max should give you zero then uh, we expect uh, the uh, thing in the square bracket uh, also equal to zero that means uh, alpha minus uh, uh, beta max into beta max plus one should be equals to zero that means alpha is equals to beta max into beta max plus one as equation number six uh, in equation number five we could also have uh, beta as a negative number uh, squaring uh, which uh, we we may be still getting alpha so if that's the case then uh, beta could be actually kind of uh, i mean uh, beta minimum could be actually that number with minus sign and if you square that you should be getting alpha so and the corresponding uh, state function for that uh, beta minimum can be taken as alpha into beta minimum and then on, on that minimum state 
if uh, j minus operates it should be giving you zero because uh, it cannot uh, lower it any further and then uh, if you multiply on both sides by j plus we will get j plus into j minus is equals to alpha beta minimum ket and then from equation number three uh, j plus and j minus was equals to jx squared plus jy squared plus h cut into jz and if you express uh, j square minus jz square in place of uh, uh, jx square plus jy square we get this expression like this and if you actually kind of uh, take that in the in the uh, place of uh, j plus j minus in this uh, uh, product then we can actually get uh, alpha uh, h cut square minus beta minimum square into h cut square plus h cut into beta minimum into h cut and then the ket equals to zero so we can write uh, alpha minus uh, beta minimum into beta minimum minus one uh, into h cut square is equal to zero and since h cut square cannot be zero then uh, the stuff in the bracket should be zero that means we can write alpha as a beta minimum into beta minimum minus one as a equation number seven from equations uh, 6 and 7 we can write uh, uh, beta max is equal to minus uh, beta min uh, as equation number 8 if uh, the uh, state uh, alpha beta max is reached after n successive operations of uh, j plus on uh, the ket uh, alpha beta min then we can write uh, beta max is equal to beta min plus n as equation number 9 from equations uh, number 8 and 9 we can write uh, minus uh, beta min is equals to beta min plus n or we can ex we can say that uh, beta minimum is equals to minus n by 2 as equation number 10 or we can also get expression for beta max as n by 2 as equation number 11 it says that uh, your beta max can even be uh, uh, half integer or integer if you call uh, beta max uh, which was uh, your uh, n by 2 as j then uh, from equation number 6 we can write alpha is equals to j into j plus 1 and if uh, beta is taken as uh, m then we can say that uh, beta can lie between uh, beta minimum which is uh, minus j or uh, beta can lie uh, I mean uh, beta can lie between uh, minus uh, j and uh, j so we can say that uh, m can lie between uh, minus j and j or we can say that uh, m can take values uh, of uh, minus j minus j plus 1 etc j minus 1 comma j and if you express the eigen ket as uh, ket j comma m then uh, the eigen value equation for uh, j square is uh, uh, j square operating on j m ket will give you j into j plus 1 into h cut square into j m ket where this j can be taking values either integers or half integers and then uh, for the uh, jz operator if uh, that operator operates on the eigen ket uh, jm it will give you m h cut into jm ket and then this m can be taking values of uh, minus j minus j plus one etc j minus one comma j that's it in this video thanks for watching